Welcome to Success Series. In today's video, we'll be looking at IFRS 15 revenue from contract work customers. But in today's video, we'll be looking at construction contracts of IFRS 15. Now, if today is your first time here, kindly hit on the subscribe button. You know, as we notify with our new videos. Moving on. Today, we are looking at IFRS 15, but we'll narrow our discussion to the construction contract of IFRS 15. Now, construction contract was previously accounted for under IS 11. And we need a four-step approach to account for construction contract question. Now, let's look at a four-step approach. Step one, we need to calculate the overall profit or loss. Overall profit or loss is as a thing from contract price minus cost to date minus cost to complete and then we'll get our raw profit or loss let's move on to step two step two is determine the progress of the contract now we have two ways to ascertain the progress either we have the input method and the output method now the input method is as a thing from cost to date over total expected cost multiplied by 100 and the output method is as a thing from work certified to date over total contract price times 100 now if progress cannot be measured Revenue should be recognized only to the extent of contract cost in care. So this occurs basically in some questions whereby you cannot ascertain, cannot numerically ascertain the progress. In this case, make sure you account for the revenue to match the exact cost that you have incurred. To the exact cost incurred. So yeah, this means that in this case, you won't be able to ascertain a value for your profit or your loss so profit or loss will basically be dash in this case now let's move on to step three step three is preparation of the statement of profit or loss how is it how are we going to prepare we'll first pick our revenue now revenue how do we ascertain our revenue figure our revenue revenue figure is ascertained from the contract price multiplied by the progress calculated in step two and that will give us the final answer will give us the revenue item the next item is cost of sales now cost of sales is as a thing from the total cost multiplied by progress now what year was the total cost total cost is our cost to date plus our cost to complete then this will finally give us either our profit or our loss let's move on to step four now step four deals with preparation of the statement of financial position now in the statement of financial position one is required to record either a contract asset or liability in the statement of financial position at the year end now how do we get contract asset or liability the formula to guide us is we'll first pick our cost to date we add our profit or our loss we deduct bill to date and then we get our contract assets or liability. Now let's look at the question. On 1st January 2021, Success Limited enters into a contract with a customer to construct a stadium for consideration of 100 million Ghana City. The contract is expected to take two years to complete. At 31st December 2021, Success Limited has incurred cost of 24 million Ghana City. Cost complete are 20 million Ghana City. In addition to this cost, Success Limited purchased a plan to be used on the contract at a cost of 16 million Ghana City. This plant was purchased on 1st January 2021 and will have no residual value at the end of the two year contract. Depreciation on the plant is to be allocated on a straight line basis across the contract 
At 31st December 2021, the value of the work satisfied was 45 million Ghana City and a customer had paid 11.4 million Ghana City. Required, how should this transaction be accounted for in the year ended 31st December 2018 using both the output and input method? So now let's look at how we are going to solve. First, we need to collect our data. And in our question, we're giving contract price as 100 million Ghana CD. Whereas, cost to date was 24 million. Cost to complete was 20 million. Plans cost for 60 million. Depreciation will be 60 million divided by 2. You remember that the, our question gave us that the plant was for two years, so it will be 60 million divided by two, which will give us an annual depreciation of 8 million. Work certified to date is 45 million. Built to date is 11.4 million. Then let's look at how we go about with the solution. Now, step one, we need to calculate our raw profit or loss. Now, here we just state our contract price, which was 100 million. We did that our cost to date in the question, which was 24 million. We did that our cost to complete, which was 20 million. Here in our question, we are given an additional cost, which was in care, which was a plant cost. So this must form part of our cost to date. So here we can either choose to represent it separately or we can choose to add it to the cost to date in our question. But in this solution, we represented it separately. So plant cost is also 60 million. We, sub we deduct all this from the contract price and then we get our raw profit to be 40 million. Now step two, we need to determine the progress of the contract. Remember we have two methods of measuring the progress. So we have the input method. Let's look at the input method. The input method, we know that the input method is cost in care to date over total expected cost multiplied by 100. Now our cost in care to date is 24 million plus 8 million. Now the 24 million is our cost in care to date. What else the 8 million represents the plant's depreciation for one year? So in our question, it was only used for one year. So we can only account for one year of the cost of the asset, which represents depreciation in so yeah, it's between 24 million plus 8 million. Then over the total expected cost. Now total expected cost, we have our cost to date, which is the 24 million. Cost to complete which is the 20 million plus our plant cost, which is the 16 million. Then we multiply by 100. We will finally get 53.33% or 8 over 15 in terms of fraction. Then we have the output method output method is ascertained as work satisfied to date over contract price multiplied by 100 now work certified to date is 45 million we divide by the contract price which is a hundred million and we will multiply by 100 our final answer will now be 45 percent now let's look at step three where we are required to prepare the statement of profit or loss. Now let's use the input method. Now with the input method, remember our progress was 53.33%. We are going to use that to ascertain for our revenue and that of cost of sales. So now let's start. Revenue will be the contract price, which was the 100 million, multiplied by 8 over 15. And this will give us 53.33 million. Then cost of sales will be 60 million, which is the total cost, multiplied by 8 over 15, which will give us 32 million. Then our profit will then be 21.33 million. Let's move on to the statements of financial position under the input method now in this our question we're having a pp item and therefore we are required to show the non-current asset net book value or its current value in our statement of financial position 
this would then be 60 million representing the cost of the asset minus a one year depreciation which will be 8 million so it will be 60 million minus 8 million which will finally give us 8 million now let's move on to ascertain our contract asset now contract asset will be the cost to date remember here the cost to date is 24 million plus the one year depreciation which is the 8 million which will give us 32 million then we'll now add our profit and we had a profit of 21.33 million well, then the that bill to date remember bill to date is the amount the customer paid and the question we're giving that the customer paid 11.4 million then our contract assets will now be 41.93 million let's move to that of the output method now with the output method let's look at how to prepare the statement of profit or loss remember that with the output method we had we had a remember that with the output method we had a progress of 45 percent of 45 percent we are going to use that to ascertain our revenue and that of cost of sales now revenue revenue is ascertained as 100 million multiplied by the 45 percent which will give us 45 million cost of sales will be 60 million multiplied by 45 percent which will give us 27 million our profit is then 18 million let's move to that of statement of prof financial position let's move to statement of financial position we need to account or we need to show the value of our assets our non-current assets that's a pp so pp is 16 million minus 8 million which will then give us 8 million then move to find a contract asset or contract liability which will be our cost to date which is a 24 million plus a one year depreciation 8 million which will give us 32 million we add our profit for the year which was 18 million we did that the bill to date which was 11.4 million then we will finally get a contract asset of 38.6 million thank you